I must just. Oh! What? <laughs> what? What? Okay. If we're in the expensive artifact section and this has a different backing. Oh my god! <laughs> no way! I bet they're all sitting here. I'm gonna lose it. You, you guys are about to see me lose it if there's another one of those right there. Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and this is it right here. Just finally arrived. Uh, I guess there's some new thing called like ground supreme or some stupid thing i don't know i thought i put priority whatever so just showed up friday actually uh right before the live stream and i thought well i'm not gonna open on the live stream i'm drafting so uh this is it i'm gonna cut it open hopefully whoops without without knocking over the camera and without uh showing my address which is right on the bottom as is the norm uh this person packaged it like a complete idiot but that was kind of the point i'll get into that in a second and uh, yeah, it looks like it's been through hell, but it's actually just been through the U.S. Postal Service. What's the difference? Ah, okay, so let's cut it open. Ah, so I already know this is in a fat pack box, and I bought it for a couple reasons. One, it's in, I think, a KTK or DTK or some K thing. Okay, yeah, a KTK. All right. That's pretty old. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> and then, oh, no. Oh no, oh no, god, I bet all the edges are ruined. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what's even worse? I think I used to have the same brand of fragile tape. And what, obviously, I have these. I have the eBay tape too, because we all shop at the same damn place. But, uh, okay. <laughs> let's, let's get it. Oh no, I, I was going to say, okay, here's um, why I bought it. Actually, here, I'll, I'll show you why I bought it. Hold on. One. This is not somebody who sells magic cards. It's just like the last video, which was like three years ago, which turned out pretty hot. I mean, it was like 60 bucks for the cards. I was excited. I see Mythics, I get excited, okay? Heart of Kirin used to be pricey. Of course, I opened it and bought it after that cycled out. There we go. Guess, guess we ain't reusing this box. Uh, and the other reason I bought it is because of this. I saw in the photo, which they showed absolutely none of the cards, that these look newish. These look old as hell, or at least by a smoker. This is some kind of uh, what, 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 what's uh, what do they call those? Planeswalker decks or the welcome decks or whatever you know those sealed ones. Then they had a spacer, and then all of these are in like penny sleeves. Or actually, oh no, these are in. Okay, I don't want to look. These these are in those super tight snug ones that I absolutely despise. Okay, so I, here's my logic here. Very old. Don't know from a seller who has never sold magic cards in their life and all they sell is like antiques and estate sale stuff. They, it looked like they owned like a thrift store or like a chain or something, just like last time. Uh, anybody who would package it like this is an absolute serial killer maniac deranged lunatic or just doesn't know magic. So there you go. Could, could have put a row of bubble wrap on there, just saying. But uh, with these being in those like super snug dragon sleeve stupid things, uh, I think those might be worth something. So... Let's start with the ones that I don't care about. Okay, let's see if I can break it here, because you guys can see what that is. So I thought, this might be something. So you might wonder what I paid. I'll just say it's between 20 and 30, just like last time. Actually, last time I think I paid 18 and made, like, what, 60? So I was real excited about that. I'm just saying, I've gotten some bad lots where people are like, oh, I don't know what's in it. And then their whole entire back catalog is, like, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and all that. Yeah, sure, you don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. And then it's just, you know, a bunch of lands or something. Okay, so without looking, I have separated these. These are like super old. You can tell by the, the dark stuff. Sorry about the bad lighting. Let's get this absolute crime out of here. There we go. <laughs> let's see what we got. These are really old. If these are like alpha or beta, y'all about to watch me lose it. So let's see. Okay, I actually, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I thought these were lands. Because if you look at the edges and stuff and the age, I thought these were lands and they looked a little cigarette-y to me. So let's see, what is this? Oh no! <laughs> Copyright 1995. That's like fourth edition or third unlimited revised one. It's the, yeah, that's not. There ain't nothing worth much in that. No, they don't do rarities back then. Oh my god, fortified arena. I or area. I I don't know stuff. This okay. Here we yeah. Circle of protection. Okay, so everybody played these. But this is old though. This is really 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 old. Um yeah, prevent damage. <sighs> oh yeah, that ain't. Uh. I don't remember exactly what set that is, though. I think it's revised, isn't it? I don't see the anvil. I don't see the, the moon. I don't see the... It's definitely not legends. Yeah, I know. I'm awful. Look at that symbol, though. Look at that mana symbol. Oh, my God. That's so ancient. Oh, Death Ward. Yeah, okay. 
I sold enough revised and, and old stuff like this to know that this ain't worth much. Cyclopean Mummy, that might be a couple bucks. If anything's really significant, I'll put the price up on the screen. But look at these. Okay, here, I'll grab a new one. Look at these card backs. Look at this difference. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. These are so classic. Even if they aren't worth nothing, I I'd spent, like, I think I said there's like 20-some bucks on it. So, oh, wait, what is that? I know that. Um, What is that crown symbol? 1994, that might be something. Because they didn't do rarity back then. All the symbols look the same. If I'm just looking past like $50 cards, I'm going to hear about it. But if, if, it's, if it's worth a bunch of money, right here is where the price will be. Thanks, editing desk. All right, <laughs> let's see. Brainwash. Okay. What set that is? 95. I don't know. Fourth edition had a four on it, I think. Holy armor. Oh, these are old, though. You know, I mean, I don't think there's going to be a freaking, like, alpha lotus here or something, but... It's Seeker. Pearled Unicorn. I know for a fact that one's not worth money. They're a slightly different Pearled Unicorn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Wait. Oh, what? No copyright, white border, uh, and I'll have to get out the chart. I, I don't know. Death Ward, whoops, Let's see, Death Ward. <laughs> this, I mean, I'll be honest with you, this ain't looking great. I bought it for this pile. That that could be, I mean, think about it. If that was like 90s, I don't know, when did they sell those? I don't know, okay, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. All right, we'll see when we get there. Orcish Oriflam, I know for a fact that's not worth anything. Bloodlust? I don't know. A lot of these old cards are very underpowered. It just drives me nuts that I don't know the rarity. The Brute. If it's an expensive older card... Wait, whoa, hold on. Black Border... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That's something newer. Wait, Black Border 1995? I, I thought they did Black Borders for Alpha and Beta, wasn't it? And then they brought them back, I thought, in, like, 97. I don't know what that is. Okay, Sisters of the Flame. The Brute... Oh, these are by color. Okay, let's... Here, here let's just do it. Let's just do it. Giant, yeah, giant tortoises, energy trap, erosion, yeah, sunken city. Let's take a closer look. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh no. Beveled edges. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That means something, right? Oh, it's a copyright date though. Ninety-five. Shoot. Okay. Sunken city. All right. Sunken city. Siren's call. Hammered. I really should know that. I should know that. Isn't is, isn't a set called like Empires or something, guys? I started playing in twenty thirteen. I have bought and sold over a million dollars worth of cards, but it's been a hot minute. Oh, oh, I thought okay, that's uh, Ice Age, right? Or Cold Snap or one of those, one of the Icy Boys. Okay, they didn't do rarities back then either. They did this funny looking font, Illusionary, Enervate. That might be something. Psychic Venom, Ray of Commands, or in Spellcaster, Deep Spawn. I'm just gonna if something jumps out or whatever is worth something, I'll put it up on the screen. Jade Monolith, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think that's only worth money if that's a beta. Okay. Redirect to yourself all damage done to any creature. The source of the damage does not change. <laughs> Why would you do that? Ash oh, I thought that was Ashnod's altar. Oh my god. Okay, so Ashnod's battle gear. Battering Ram. Ooh, that's, uh, I know that set. It, uh, this, no, this was like a special deck, I think. Okay, that, I don't know. I don't know. Silver Surfer, that might be worth some money. Grape Shot. Obsidian, uh, Ob Obsianus Golem, pardon me. Wait, is one of these old? No, I think this is revised or unlimited or whatever. Okay. Yeah, white Border, Beveled Edge, but Date, that's newer. Clay Statue. God, I wish they would have just said the rarity on these stupid things. It drives me nuts. Battering Ram. This looks like bulk to me. I don't know. Death Ward, Banalish Hero, Seeker, Death Ward. Okay, Wild. I'm just looking for set symbols right now. Abbey Matron. Hi, Abby. How you doing? Ace and Bureaucrats. Trade Caravan. I'm going to look like an idiot if these are all worth money. <laughs> I'm just going through them. Circle of Protection White. I know there's never been a Circle of Protection worth money. They're not even worth that much in Alpha and Beta. Uh, Divine Offering. That one I know is not worth much. Death Ward again. Okay, Cop White. Healing, healing. Okay, yeah, this, this doesn't look great. It's neat. I mean, I said I'd only up, uh, upload this if it's expensive, but I'm going to upload it if it's neat. And these are neat. Come on, you guys are into this nostalgia stuff. I'm not because I'm going to play back then. But, oh, they really damaged that carbon meteor shower. That's, that might be some. You never know. Oh, Fissure. Wait a minute. Fissure's worth a couple bucks, isn't it? Wait, fi wait five cost destroy target land. Bury target land, pardon me, or creature. I think they reprinted this. I think this was in uh, that that uh, that set with Armageddon, that, that vault thing. 
Uh, cooperation, Mace Pegasus. Ooh, at that. Oh, banding. That's why I remember it. Okay, I don't think that's worth that much. Nobody knows how it works. Animate artifact, power sync, howl from beyond. Uh, that might be a little bit of money. Fissure, Phantasmal Fiend, Howl, Howl, Howl. <laughs> really, really poorly printed Power Sync. Yeah, that's not that's not old enough. Oh wait, what? Okay, if if it's if it's white border and it's no copyright date, there's almost nothing worth money unless it's a dual land. I'm pretty sure. I should really stop speculating. We had jump, 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 jump. <laughs> Gotta get that play set, even though I'm pretty sure they didn't do that back then. Limgoon cohort, Drudge Skeletons. I think we got better cards than that. Merc Dwellers, Boggin, Frozen Shade, Cop Black for some reason. Leshrac's White, wait a minute. There's some Leshrac card that's worth money, I think. Or maybe the artwork? I think I'm thinking of that Vice. I don't know. Mind Warp, Mind Ravel, Foul Familiar, Pit Scorpion. I bet you none of these are worth money. Cyclopean, I know that's not worth money. Uh, Skate Zombies, Lost Soul, Weakness, Smell of Shadows, Weakness, Frozen... Shade. Uh, I'm just looking at like the power levels and stuff. I don't know. If the name doesn't jump out at me, I should be able to know it from just like what it does. Paralyze. That's kind of cool, actually. Pestilence. Dwarven Soldier. Fire Breathing. The original. Might be worth something. Tor Giant. <laughs> I mean, creatures come with Fire Breathing now. I don't know. I think I'm being a little optimistic. Ambush Party. Bird Maiden. Fire Breathing again. And Bone Shaman. Okay. So super ancient stuff like 93 or 94 95 it looks like i have sold so much revised stuff it just none of it's worth money i just know that sorry i gotta add, put little cuts in here because i left my facebook unmuted i'm selling a whole bunch of stuff because i am baroque right now so hopefully uh hopefully there's something in here these are the modern cards let's see okay so as you can see it looks <laughs> looks looks a little different <laughs> Oh, well, okay. I didn't cut it correctly. Elvish Healer. Ar I can see the modern one. Leak it right there. Okay, what do we got? Armor. Okay, Prismatic Ward. I don't know. Maybe that's something. Rally. Oh, oh no! No! Don't do this to me! <sighs> yep. Oh, oh, oh. Almost, almost. I'm getting shook. I almost tipped him over. I don't think I need a knife. All right. Okay. I do believe I have been scammed, my fellow YouTubers. Wee! All right, let's get to the next one. <laughs> now, they, I am very confident they did not know what they had. Oh, what is this? Wait. Oh, Vodalian Mage. Wait, what? Oh, that's from that same crown set thing. Okay. All right. I don't know if there's a sealed deck in this style of, of cellophane that's ever been worth anything, but let's find out. Oh, it's not a deck! <laughs> what the hell didn't I think of that? How stupid am I? This is a uh, land pack from uh, uh, GRN, Guilds of Ravnica. Was there anything good in these? You know what? Let's, uh... Fuck, I don't have a knife. I know these ain't worth crap. Like, e even the, um... The fat pack ones with the dual lands, the 80s, those ain't worth nothing from, like, BFZ. Okay, yeah, that's right. You get, I think you get like five foils. Believe it or not, these are actually worth money. These are actually worth a little bit of money because this was the only way you could get them, I think. Don't quote me on that. And then the rest are just normal ass land, so. Fine, I'll stop throwing cards. Children in Africa could eat those lands. All right. Oh, these are flipped over. Wait a minute. I just realized that. Oh my God, when did that happen? Okay, I don't know. That looked kind of modern. I don't know. That's probably not good. But. I don't know, modern stuff, old stuff, I don't know, first edition, like first time it was printed, that's, you get a little premium for that, I don't know. <sighs> Let's see. Well, what's, okay, hold on, let me just, that's actually, I, oh, that's right, this was in the photo. Okay, I'll show you guys, this was in the photo, that's why I thought, maybe this is an entire commander deck and the person's a lunatic using these sleeves, or maybe this is like commander, like building materials. And so this commander sphere, I don't know, that ain't worth crap, that's, you know, whatever, it's, a buck or some, probably not even. So I'll start. I'll start here because we'll go face down. But so I think it flips halfway. I don't know. Thief of Sanity. Wait a minute. That's okay. That used to be worth money. Welcome to Des doesn't know the card prices. The video series. Uh, I gotta move this light closer. Hold on. There we go. Even I can't see what's going. Oh, that looks terrible. Oh well, too bad. Uh, what else we got? 
Well, there goes my theory of this being a commander deck, because you wouldn't have two of these. I mean, blue-black, there'd be some money in that. These might be worth a couple bucks. I don't know. They, they were pretty, like, these were, what, five, ten bucks back when they were legal? But, uh, let's see, what was this even? GRN. Oh, wait, wait, what else was GRN? The, something else was GRN. I wasn't paying attention. Is it this? Wait, was it these? Uh-oh, ooh, this might be way more recent then. Because these are GRN, these are GRN. I don't like that. What? Oh, what? <laughs> he wasn't in GRN. You guys know, if you've been watching this channel, you know I want to put this knife through this 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 guy so bad. Just going to put that away for safety. He's got to be at least at 10 or at this point, right? 10, 20 bucks. I think they reprinted them. They reprinted everything. Nothing's worth money. But this is older. This is, this is, um, I got to look. Hour of Devastation. <laughs> Dude, look, okay, I'm better with magic cards than I look. I just got no sleep. I got food poisoning again. Thanks, Aldi's, for selling me moldy berries that I didn't realize were moldy until I ate half of them. Uh, and then the bottom was moldy, so thanks for that. Cylindar's Command... Wait, oh, but wait, wait, wait. Commander 17. <gasps> this might still be, like, a commander deck, and they just got two, three, four, six... I don't know, this is a collection. I don't know. These... Oh, you know, I just realized these are all rares and mythics. <laughs> Sorry, the, the last... The horse finally crosses the line. The last subway finally came into the station. Okay. If these are all rares and mythics, I guarantee I got my, like, 24 bucks plus shipping and tax out of this. I guarantee it. Well, plus it's a command card, but I, I happen to know because I sold one of these a couple years ago. This ain't worth very much. Oh. Okay. Songar's command. I'm trying to think. What if they just played back then? Wait, these are from two different sets. That's DTK. Okay, and remember, the box was DTK. Or KTK, whatever. Same, it's Tarkir block. Dude, if there's, like, dual lands in here, dude. The Scorpion God, all right. <laughs> I don't think he ever was worth anything. Let's see, when a creature... Yeah, pff, Yeah, he's... Yeah. Still, it's a mythic, though. Come on, come on. Come on. I just... These are all mixed color, too. I have a good feeling about this. I don't know. You guys were made fun of me for like losing my crap over like like three heart of Kirins in a row in that last lot. I, it used to be twenty bucks. I didn't know it was five bucks or whatever, but I made my money back. Oh, kitchen finks. Wait, what is this? This is uh, is that MM one? It's an uncommon, but okay, we're going colorless, I guess. Maybe they're all colorless. I don't know. Or, or ugh, mixed colors. Sorry, it's a gold border. I'm I'm shook right now. I'm getting. I don't know what to think. I thought this would all be crap and I wouldn't even end up uploading this. Okay, so, yeah, I I hate this card almost as much as uh, Scarab God, so I also know it's not worth very much. <laughs> I really would not feel that bad destroying one of these right now. <laughs> but I think that's, it doesn't say, it's 2013 and it's, I think that's MM1. What else would it be? Unless it's like Commander First Edition or something, I don't know. Uh, oh, wait, land tax. Hold on. Hold on. That's worth some money. That they This is the Battle Bond reprint. That's another mythic. Okay, I'm going to look this up. Hold on. I'm going to look this up. I'm going to look this up. This is for me. This ain't for you. I'm going to look this up in real time. Land tax, I swear to God, that used to be like a $100 card, but I think it isn't as of the reprint, but it's like still money. Hold on. Let me pull up a website here. I say hold on like I'm not just going to edit this out. I think you have to have the original or like a masterpiece of this to be worth money. But let's see. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, I remember why I remember land tax because that's totally not an offensive Jewish stereotype. No, definitely not. Anyway, um, yeah, you're looking at it. Battle Bond, 23 bucks. Bro, I paid like 23 bucks for this. There we go. We're all set. <laughs> Well, no, oh, then Scarab God's like probably like 510 and Kitchen Finks, that's gotta be like three bucks. That card's freaking annoying. But they, they put that in the everything masters. Okay. If there was like another land tax right here, dude, we've had some repeats. Oh, silence. Okay, so this is mixed color and we're going white. I wonder if this is just like a emptied out binder or something. Oh, my God. who would bring this to a thrift store? I love this spell. Guys, I started playing in M14, like between uh, uh, Return to Ravnica and M14, like right when M13 went out. So I love this card. Oh, my God. Render Silent is better. There's a couple better ones, but this is classic. I also know it ain't worth a damn thing, but... Uh... 
Oh, Path to Exile. Wait, what set is that? What is what is that? I don't know what that is. Let's see. 2014. I still don't know what that is. Uh, okay, the only Path to Exile worth money is uh, the promo one. The FNM promo, I think. No, that's Swords to Plowshares. I'm not... Whatever. I, I'm gonna... During editing, I'll look it up. Path to Exile. Okay, I think that's the same little weird face set. I, I've seen it before. I'm not, like, new to this. I just don't remember offhand. Well, let's be honest. Neither do you. Another one. Okay, hold on. Let's gonna... Let's, let's do this. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that's a different set. Here we go. 2010. I... You know, you and I both know, we don't know what that is, okay? Let's just... Just keep your comments to yourself. These could be two bucks a piece. Dude, I'm... If the, the rest of this, we're getting into uncommon, so I don't like this, but it looks like it's by color. Wait, do we have a white, like a mythic? We did! Bro, this could just be like a pile of good stuff. I'm telling you, this is a binder dump. I'm telling you. Oh my god. Okay, Sun Cleanser M19. We, the dinosaurs, they ain't worth that much. I don't know what that's worth. Probably not much. If, if it ain't up on the screen, it ain't above like two bucks. That'll probably be my cutoff. Whoa, wait a minute. 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 Is that the one that was banned? Wait, what an extra ban for search for an equipment! <gasps> this is the one that was banned and unbanned. Okay, I'm gonna look that up. Okay, that's double masters. That's actually really recent. Um 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Let me check the condition on this. Dude, for real, if I get a hundred out of this pile, I will be absolutely delighted because I'll be able to pay some bills. <laughs> that's why I thought I'm going back to spec it on this. We're going long shots. I'm I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Ghostly Prison. Oh, this is such an annoying troll card. I don't think it's worth anything. Uh, CN2. Is that Conspiracy 2? Somebody played this. It's hilarious. Oh, no, no. This isn't the one I thought. Wait. So this isn't that stupid can't attack thing. You guys know I love that. Um, this. I thought this was the one where, where you can't have more than two creatures in play. It's like the funny multiplayer troll card. That's like a different one. So, I don't know. It's an uncommon. I don't know. It's probably not worth that much. All right, uh, that's uh, 2012. What is that? Plane Chase? I think I know that symbol. Old Light Mine Field. Okay, this this might be like five, ten bucks. I have this in my commander deck, so it can't be that much because ya boy cheap. But that is one of my all-time favorite cards. It is hilarious. I love it. Oh, that's a rare. I thought these went uh, like like descending rarity. So, okay, another Light Mine Field. All right, okay. Oh, Armageddon, dude. Okay, I'll tell you right off the bat, it's like two bucks. But I owned one of these forever. I got it in a trade. It's from From the Vault Annihilation or whatever it was called. And I love this card, but I was just like, screw wizards. I need money. I got rid of it. I'm keeping this. I regret selling this. I sold it on buy list. I'm like, they're going to give me like two, three, four bucks for this. I'm putting that in the keep pile. There you go. I don't care what the value is. The value is I don't care because I'm keeping that. And also, it's not very high. All right. Um, okay. Oh, because the okay the colors. Okay, dragon egg for some reason. I don't know. That's that can't be worth that much. Oh, and then so just one of them's upside down. Wait. Okay. So dragon egg. Oh, this is going downhill real quick. I don't care. I made my money. I got two to one, three to one, easy. And I have no idea what those are worth. Uh, seismic rupture, DTK. That can't be. That can't be anything. Wait, seething song. Isn't that banned? <laughs> Ninth edition. Okay, if I stop to look every one of these uh, up, it's going to be a really long video. So, I'm pretty sure that's banned in modern, which that's going to affect its price a little bit. But I don't know. That could be like that could be like five ten bucks. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, what is this? This is the first foil card. This has got to be just somebody's binder. This has just got to be something somebody picked up. But with with the ages, either they played this long and then what they didn't know what they had and donated it. This has got to be like their mom donated it or something. I I don't know. Like I said, this was a thrift store. I actually, when I was on my phone, I checked I, when I cut the camera. So this is a foil harmless offering from EMN. Um, I don't know. That might be worth a little bit. Oh, Blood Moon. Dude, when I opened M25, this was still 20 bucks. So that's, that's money, dude. M25, let's go. These are kind of commander and modern cards, too. I, I'm noticing that, so... Wait, what is that? I don't know what that set symbol is. E01. What is that? It's a mythic? It's Obsidian Fireheart. I, this looks really familiar. But I don't know what it is. 
It doesn't look that good. I don't know. It's a mythic, though. But you know red mythics. You guys know how those work. Okay. Possibility Storm. That's... That's a Guilds of Ravnica. Or, or the, the one of those... Rav, it's the something Ravnica. I don't know. It's five costs. Can't be that good. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, it's not foil. That's a mythic gold span. This thing was a menace to society, but only in standard. I Even being extended art, I bet you that's not worth that much. Watch the number on the screen be like, ha ha ha, dumbass. All right, let's see. Uh, Rage Reflection. What is that? Wait, no, I know that symbol. 2010, what is that? It's an M. It's not Iconic Master. No, it's too old. I don't know. Creatures, you control of Double Strike for six? I think there's 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 a better version of that. Okay. This is getting weird, though. <laughs> right when I say it. Yeah, this is getting a little weird. Okay, I guess we're into black. Uh, Rat Colony. Oh, wait, is that... Yeah, a deck may have any number of them. Okay, that's like 50 cents all day. Please tell me that's... No, for frick's sake. Okay. All right, let's get the rats out of the way. Yep. It's when you know, you know. Oh, wait, this one... This one feels weird. Oh, what? Wait, Relentless Rats from 10th? Okay. <laughs> Does, do they just like, wait. Uh, that, okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Is, that can't be the one that's like like 10 bucks a card, is it? I don't know. They reprinted one of the rats. Uh, but no, they reprinted a new one. It was in Horizons. Okay, I don't know. Okay, no, we're looking them up. We're looking them up. We're looking them up. If there's like 50 rats in a row, I'm going to want to know it. Oh, that sucks. Even the Time Spiral one is two bucks. But yeah, I remember like it's like a common or uncommon or whatever, but you can still get money for it. Let's see. Uh, Fifth Dawn, Magic 2010, which was M10. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 10th edition, $1.90. Okay, well... If, if the whole rest of them are rats, I mean, we haven't, what, wait, what, we haven't gotten to green or blue yet. Never know. Take a guess down below how many of these are going to be. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm having way too much fun with this. Oh, oh, I accidentally grabbed two. Sorry to spoil it, everybody. Sorry about that. All right. <laughs> Okay, even I would have guessed, like, maybe eight if it's, like, half of this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so funny. Okay, whoops. Whoops, sorry. I did it again. These are really, they got some, they got some finger grease on them. I might have to sanitize after this. Oh. Let's just. Oh! What? <laughs> what? What? Mana Drain, that is not a rat. I don't know if you know this. That's not a rat. That's a Mana Drain from freaking IMA. Hold the hell on. Let me look that up. I think that was an invocation. That's not going to do good things to the price. Take a guess if I give a crap. Mana Drain. Hold on. I just thought I'd flip up a bunch of rats. Oh, okay. So it's 33 bucks, TCG Mid. 33 bucks. I will take that. What? Okay, how many of these were rats? Let's. Okay, I really screwed this up. Oh, okay, I don't know how many of them were rats. Sorry if you were counting. <laughs> Ink Eyes Servant of Oni from, wait, 20. What was 20? Was that a, oh, that's a From the Vault. I could tell. Okay, that's what I was going to say. I think that's that's like 20, 20th anniversary From the Vault. It's a ninjutsu rat. That might be worth something. I'm a little more excited about this, though. Okay, let's move the rats out of the way. Wait, was there a black card that wasn't rats? Okay, this person was clearly deranged. I think we knew that. Uh, Mana Drain, Brainstorm, which is banned in modern, so that can't be worth money. Uh, Pongify, because return to monkey. All right, that's ain't worth nothing. Screeching Sliver from Time Spiral, but that's a common. Single Mill, okay, that's a garbage sliver. That can't be worth much. Training Grounds. Is that, that's, um, that's, uh, do, 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 Rise of Eldrain, and it's a rare activated abilities of creatures you control cost up to, up to two less, two colorless less. Okay. That might be something. I don't know if I've ever actually heard of that card. Dude, mana drain, though. I gotta put that out separate. Mana freaking drain. It's not gonna top that. There's no way. Unless, oh, unless there was another one under it, I just realized that, that but no, it's preordained, which... Do they just collect banned cards? Because Preordain and Brainstorm, I think, are both banned in just about everything. 
Kind of reinforces that this is a commander deck. Swan Song. Wait, what? What's that one? Uh, Pact of Negation? I bet you it's in there. I bet Pact of Negation is in there. Because these are all like counter spells and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Fog Bank? What? <laughs> M13 Defender Flying Prevent All Combat Damage that will be dealt to and dealt by Fog Bank? That's like. That's an uncommon? That's like really good. Am I missing somewhere? That's like really good. Okay. Oh, Cyclonic Rift! I'm gonna have to sell that really quick. That's that's 20, 30 bucks. It dropped from 50 when they reprinted it. That is insanely expensive, but it's in the set that they just announced, Commander Masters. So I gotta sell that in a hurry. Okay, Thassa's rebuff. Okay, we're back to the counter spells. That's legit. That's about the same price as Mana Drain. I'm not even kidding. It's probably now, if I went on eBay, it's probably like 18, but I know because I actually just sold one. Uh, if Facebook would shut up for a second. Okay, I'm gonna go mute my computer. I'll be right back. Somebody want to come buy my couch? They better they trade me some more magic cards because we, we on the roll now, or they uh, they better uh, just shut up for 30 minutes. I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> Redirect. Oh, this is one of my all-time favorite cards. I know for a fact it ain't worth more than about a dollar, but that card is amazing. M12. They printed it like M11, 12, 13, 14. It was one of those. But I played this back when I first started playing magic, and I trolled people so hard. I redirected somebody's duress, and my head just about exploded, so... That's going to the keep pile. That's going to the keep pile. I don't care. I don't care what's worth him keeping it. Ooh, Contra Magia! Muy bien. That's, that's got to be at least 50 cents. Wait, what is that? Oh, Commander. CMR. It's the Commander set with the beard. I don't know which one that is. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, wait. Chal no, it's that other chalice that's worth money. The, the void thing. The, I know cards, I assure you, but I'm on this much sleep. Thanks for the food poisoning once again. All these appreciate it. Uh, you know what the hell? Here we'll just there we go. All right, there we go. Everflowing chalice. I uh, multi kicker. I don't think that's worth that much, dude. If this is, oh, okay, another one. If they have another one, it can't be worth that much. But I don't know. They clearly had some cards. I don't know. I'm I'm got to be above a hundred at this point. I would think that's a hundred cent right there. Um, wait, what happened to? What happened to green? Huh. <laughs> I was like, isn't there another color in this game? I could have sworn there's another color. <laughs> Soul Ring. Okay. Yeah, this was this was Commander Chaff. They were building decks with this or just a collection or something. Uh, okay. I, what is a Soul Ring worth these days? What is that? That's uh, Commander 18. Yeah, it's probably two bucks or something. <laughs> For God's sake. Okay. Is that what we're doing now? <laughs> Is that what's going on? Is that, is that what's going on in the hood right now? We're going to just pull soul rings? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's... Okay. Leave your gifts down below. <laughs> Watch me actually flip up another figure like Mana Drain or something. <laughs> Whoa! Hold on! <laughs> That's a Chrome Mox. That's IMA, isn't it? No, EMA. EMA. Oh my god, I'm looking that up right now. Too bad. I'm not waiting until I edit it. I'm pretty sure that this was that there was a, a like a like a fancy trim version of that. Um, oh wait, that's okay. That's double. That's probably about the same. Uh, EMA sixty freaking dollars right there, guys. Sixty bucks. Remember, I paid like twenty and change for this. All things considered, shipping and tax and crap, it didn't clear thirty. Wow, that is nuts. That is actually that's going on the, the well. Okay, I don't know. I, I'll put it. Somewhere, I can keep it. I'll put it up there. That's the most expensive card. That'll be the most expensive card slot right there. Right next to the knife for safety. If there's another Chrome Mox, I'm just glad we didn't get another Soul Ring. I obviously can sell those, but... I don't know. I feel like this is another Mox. Well, okay, I guess I wasn't wrong. It's Mox Amber. Um, That's worth significantly less, isn't it? Add one man of any color. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'll put the price up. I don't... That's Dominaria. It's not that much. I remember that being very disappointing. Jeweled Lotus! Oh my god! Wait a minute, what is that from? CMR, with the Beard Commander. Is that still worth money? Wait, that's another one where I think, like, the only... No, because I pulled one on stream, remember? It was uh, the Foil Extender Borderless or whatever. That was, like, three bills. This ain't worth that much. But we just pulled a freaking Mox Amber and Crow Mox and a Jeweled Lotus in a row. What do you think that is? I'm just selling that out there. Okay, let me look it up. 
Oh, they put it in Commander Masters? Those dicks? Okay, anyway. Uh, oh, Commander Legends, I think, is what that was. CMR, Commander Leg... There's not an R in that. Uh, whatever. So, I don't know what set this is. But, um, oh, yeah, yeah. The extended art, the special, whoop de doo foil etch, this and that. Yeah, piss off. All right, so it's, it's like 60-some bucks, though. That is a lot more than I thought. I would have put that at, like, 30 Holy crap. I th wait, did that go up? Because I thought that was, like, 20 bucks, and the extended foil was, like, three bills, like I said. Holy hell. Okay, that's going up in the in the Hall of Fame up there. What do you think this is? <laughs> Dude, for real. Maybe it's another Jeweled Lotus. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out. I said that about the Chrome, the Mox, and I got Monkey Pod Curse of the whatever, where they give you what you want, but not quite high ass, you know? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm not that disappointed. This is, uh, once again, one of my all-time favorite cards because I just destroyed my friend with this. He was playing Forced Fruition, and so I just kept casting spells and then taking seven off the top of my library, and then I would just, like, discard this <laughs> and recycle the library. It ain't worth crap. That's, like, that's like ten cents. But I, you know what? I'm keeping it. I love that. I think we're out of the good cards here. Let's see. Yeah. Well, it's called... Wait, isn't that banned? Oh, it's an uncommon, and it's Commander 14. But, yeah, I think that's banned in Modern. No, the other one had, like, like Artifact Affinity, right? I don't know. Skull... Something Clamp. Skull something... I don't know. That, that can't be worth very much. Okay. Oh, this one looks like it's been beat to... Wait! <gasps> this is way older than... Oh, my God. Okay. If we're in the expensive artifact section and this has a different backing... Oh, my God! <laughs> no way! No way! That's in a... Wait, what set is this? Oh, my God! <laughs> This is a manifold. Hold on. How old is this? Hold on. White border, no bevel. Okay, that's got to be like... I gotta look this up. Dude, that's an original freaking manifold or whatever. I don't know if it's alpha or beta. I don't buy it that expensive. Holy crap. I can't I can't even type right now. That's got to... That's over 100. I'm telling you right now that's over 100 if it's real. And I'm pretty sure I'd have to take it out. But this looks pretty authentic with authentic damage to the top. Look at that. Oh my god. Hold on. Okay, mana... Vault. I should have brought my identification chart here, but because I knew they'd be old. Oh my god. Okay, I think this is. Wait, 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 wait. This is revised. Oh no, it's only twenty eight bucks. How is that possible? What? Hold on. I think it's this one right here. Twenty eight dollars. They. I've been bamboozled. I have been bamboozled. Oh, beta is uh, twelve hundred. In case you're wondering. Uh, double masters mana vault. Okay, that one's thirty seven. I must just be... Okay, where's the really expensive one? Okay, that's what I was thinking of. That's four bills right there for that one. Okay. So the beta ones were... Oh my god, Revised comes back to kill me again. That's not even the most expensive card in here. I don't care. I'm, I'm so far into the money. I, I bet I made two bills on this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This could be fourth edition. No, no copyright. This is Revised. A Revised Mana Volt is only 30 bucks. I'm actually kind of mad now. Okay, that's... Whatever. It's going in the Hall of Fame slash Hall of Shame. Whatever. This one looks, this is a new back. That's an old back, so I don't think we're going to get two of them in a row. Whoops. <laughs> oh, wait. Ooh, what do we got here? This is from the vault. Ivory Tower. I don't think Ivory Tower is worth anything. Expedition map. Oh, original Zendikar. Hey, wait a minute. That card hit like two bucks at one point after Ixalan cycled out. That might be worth some money. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. This looks old. Nope. Oh, wow. It's Ultra the Frickin' Brood, though. Hold on. That's some money. Oh, my God. No, it's $4. What happened? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Boy, I've been selling cards for a long time. You know, to me, this one looks old from the back, too. I don't know. What is it? Let's see. Oh, original Zendikar Basilisk color. So that was in one of the uh, reprint sets. I think uh, IMA, EMA, one of those. It was worth a little money, but it wasn't that great. I think it was like four bucks back then, so I don't I don't know. That is maybe the first time it was printed. It's at least old. I might get a fiver out of that. I don't know. I act like it's not up on the screen. Oh, Pithing Needle. Wait a minute. Oh, that's RTR. That, eh. I remember that's like a famous card, but they printed that to death. I don't think that's worth that much. Oh, boy. Relic of Progenitus. I've sold that one before. It's not worth much. I think it's under a buck. Shadow Spear, I never looked up the price of this after it ruined standard. Uh, that, that might be like 10 bills. I don't know. 10, 10 $1 bills. 
to me a bit oh swift foot m12 swift foot and that's that's another that's like a good solid 25 cents i'm pretty sure i have sold more copies of this than everybody's probably seen in their life oh lightning greaves i know for a fact that ain't worth much because uh the the fancy uh artifact ones are worth more Oh, dude, another one of my favorite cards of all time. Yes, you guys know I did so much trolling with this stupid thing. Holy crap, Mirage Mirror. It, it's worthless. I don't care. It, it, might be, it might be like five bucks. People might finally appreciate it, but that's going to the keep pile. I don't care what it's worth. I love that card. Oh, Forebear's Blade. That's not worth very much. Very overrated. Um, some old legendary, I think. I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> These are getting greasy. <laughs> Opaline Unicorn! Oh boy! Why is that in here? That's Theros? This has got to be... Like, none of these are from the same set. Some are older than DTK, though, or KTK, which is the... That's what the box was. I don't know. I don't know what to think of that. Let's see. Whoa! Hold on! I know they reprinted some of those and they just finished it, but that's... Isn't that Darksteel? Or, like... What is that? Hold on. It's like Mirrodin or something. We're looking that up. Those, those swords are worth money, or at least they used to be. This this is like Death Freaks Out over crap that used to be worth money but was reprinted, but... I mean, I made some money on this. Body and mind. Please tell me they didn't just reprint this. Now they must have, because... Oh, yeah, it's Scars of Mirrodin. $12! It was in Double Masters. 12 bucks. And you know why? You know why it's not worth much? Those are two reasons why, right there. They just ruined everything. I, don't know, I made money on this, but it's just a shame. I mean, I want the game to be affordable. So if you want this for your commander deck, like, cool that it's worth less money. But, like, right now specifically, I might be reconsidering that stance a little bit. But, okay. Let's see. Is that, wait. Hold on. That's from a different set. I know one or two of these swords is worth a fortune. I'm gonna look every every one of these up. I I'm gonna look this up. I'm gonna look this up. Sword of Oh yeah, that's the first one that came up. Yeah, two hundred dollar masterpiece. Then we got the stupid borderless. Let's keep scrolling. What do we got? Mirrored in besiege, is that what it is? No. Nope. <laughs> uh oh, modern event deck. Okay, somebody just went TCG player low and hit by. <laughs> I act like I don't do the same thing. I'm the cheapest one I can get. So yeah, this is definitely a commander set. I, uh, this is definitely a commander collection. It's got to be what this is. 30 bucks though. Look at that, huh? That's higher than I thought. What do you think are the odds that there's more swords there? That just occurred to me. Oh my god. Are they all here? No way, dude. How many are there? I think there's like 10 or something. Or the, like they just did the ninth one or the... I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Sword of War and Peace. War. I bet they're all sitting here. I'm going to lose it. You, you guys are about to see me lose it if there's another one of those right there. Oh my god, it's $6. Okay, let's keep looking then. <laughs> dude, Light and Shadow. No way. No way. I think that's one of the reprint ones. Sword of Light... And shadow. Uh, what set is that? That's 2013. That's... Oh yeah, Modern Masters 1. Okay, we're looking at 1969. Nice. Uh, once again, ruining it there. But, you know, hey, that's for collectors. That's fine. But, you know. So, to, I mean, how much are they? This is like 100 bucks sitting right here. Dude, for real. Like, this is a lot of money. I don't know how many swords there are or what they're worth, but you know what? Let's let's just let's just go. Here we go. Sword of Truth and Justice. Oh my god, what set even is that? M oh Modern Horizons 1. Okay, so that might not be very valuable. I don't know. I'm just if all the swords are here, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna look them up now. I'll just it'll be a fun surprise for me while I'm editing. Here we go. Sword of Sinhu and Steel from MH1. Okay. I thought the old ones were worth more. Hearth and Home from MH2. Okay. Oh my god, dude. And then Rakdo Signet. Okay. I think that's it for the swords, but I bet those are worth... Dude, that is so much money! I'm gonna be able to pay off some stuff, my dudes, I'm telling you. I don't know why I didn't see that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I bet... Uh, what do you think is next, you guys? <gasps> is it... Wait, how old are these? 
some of these might be worth some. I, I don't know if I've ever... I think the only ones I was able to sell was foils, and even those were four cents. Like, that, that was in a pretty recent buy list. Okay, let's... I don't remember how many guilds there are. Ten or something. Okay, Boros, Rakdos, Demir, Azorius. Probably all of them, right? Except for Simic. That's probably all of them, right? Gruel. That's probably all of them, right? Is it? That's probably all of them, right? <laughs> Kolgari. <laughs> I wasn't counting. Okay. That's probably legitimately... Damn it! Boros! Okay. What? <laughs> this, is, this is just trolling me now. Here, I have a second Boros. The guy really liked Boros. Alright, fine. Sure. <laughs> sure. Alright. Cool. Should I say it? That's gotta be all of them, right? Mindstone! That, uh, an Uncommon from C14? I thought that was worth something, but I think it's only worth something in, like, the fancy whatever reprint, something borderless, textless, freaking invocation, I don't know, whatever. All right, that ain't worth it. All right? Wait, that's, what is that? That's, like, is that, oh, Eldraine! That's right, that was in, like, the Eldraine, like, thing. Like, I think, it was in some side pack or something. Okay, let's, well, yeah, that's Commander. <laughs> Please tell me that's not. Okay, Spell Skype! Okay, that was a $30 menace when it was in standard. Um, oh, wait. Oh, this is the original. That's um, that's like New Phyrexia or whatever. Return to Phyrexia or Phyrexiaville or Phyrexia 2, the two towers or whatever. I don't know. That's I bet you that's 10 bucks. I bet you. Minimum. Cold Steel Heart. I think I remember that was from Colt, uh, from uh, Cold Snap or whatever or Mirrodin or one of them, and it ain't worth much. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, it's that one. That's, uh, I think that's Cold Snap. Or Ice Age. Okay, well, maybe the original's worth a ton. I don't know. I, I've sold enough of those that I should know better. I don't think it is. Isochron Scepter! Let's go! I, I think it's some $10, but that's, that's a troll card. Oh! It's foil! Did you notice that, like, nothing in here was foil? Holy crap! So this is, uh, what do they call it? The um, cloner stick or the, the photocopier, I believe I nicknamed it. All right, that's going in, in one of my favorites. Even though I think I still actually... No, that that was in my uh, modern deck that somebody stole. Yeah, I'm real happy about that. All right. Sword of the Animus. Wait, I was just talking about this. This is, this is like 12 bucks. Holy crap. <laughs> Why isn't that with the other swords? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, dude, if there's Godsend. If there's Godsend in here. No, this is this is colorless. It's, it's swords and it's artifacts, but that would have been in white. Maybe. I'm going to hold out hope that there's Godsend, because I don't currently own a copy of that, and I really want one. Okay. Wait. Oh, wait. These are two different... S what was that? Commander 17? This is the real one. This is Origins. Okay, so if it was in Commander, it might not be worth what I thought, but I could have sworn I just looked this up for a video like a week ago, so... Whoa! What? <laughs> hold, hold on. That's not a Sword of the Animist. Sphere of Resistance. What is this? This was from uh, that that one thing with the artifacts. The it's not invocations. The masterpieces, dude. That's gotta be worth something. Even the stupid little boots are like thirty bucks. Okay, sphere. I don't know what sphere of resistance is though. Sphere of resist. This is the most insane thing I've ever bought. By the way, should I throw that in? Sixty four dollars right there. Sixty four bucks. That is the new most expensive. I'm so pissed that that mana vault wasn't like three, four, five hundred bucks, but. Is what it is. So there is three cards or four cards left. If it's all uh, masterpieces, I mean, think about Lightning Greaves. We could have the Staff of the of what is it, Master's Command or something, something like that. Master and Commander is a good movie. Um, I don't know. I have a feeling these are all. I I would put money on it right now that these are all masterpieces because that was in the back. I still it, it does occur to me where the hell did the other colors go? But okay, whatever. Maybe if they post a second lot, mm, let me pause the video. I'll be right back. No, they did not post a second lot. Okay, if there was a part two, we ain't uploading this till it's bought. I'll, I'll upload that approximately never. Okay, what do we got? The hell is this? <laughs> Thornbite staff. I think that was actually printed as as it's a masterpiece. Come on. Can I get some masterpieces? All right, whatever. Wait, Tribal Artifact Shaman Equipment. What the hell is this card? What is that set symbol? 
That's like like a dual deck or something, or like a challenge deck. It's like, I remember that. It's one of those pre-made decks. I know it is. That might be worth some money. I don't know. It's an uncommon. I don't know. Okay. Editing desk here. It's Morning Tide, and it was only ever printed once, not as a masterpiece, and it's $25 added uncommon. Yeah. By the way, I was too caught up in just, like, keeping the video going to really, like, react to all this, but this is insane. To drop, like, I don't know, 28 bucks or whatever on a random blind set from someone who just titled it, I think it was just titled, like, MTG Cards or Magic Cards or something. They listed it under, like, Generic TCG on eBay. Was it even listed under Magic? But I was searching for the word magic, and then I came across this. All they had was a picture of the box, and then the top of it, and then Commander's Sphere, you remember from the bottom side, uh, peeking over the top, and that's all I could see. No secondary pictures, nothing. And I was looking for ones that had auction times that were really low. And so this one just, I thought, well, with the sleeves and the separation, and that's kind of, you got the old and the new, and it just, I had to outbid a couple people, but uh, yeah. It seems to have worked out. Oh, that's right. You haven't seen the rest of the cards yet. Let's get back to it. Come on. Worn Power Stone. An uncommon from Commander 15. I mean, it taps for two. Like, isn't that worse than a Soul Ring? I don't, whatever. That doesn't look that good. I don't know. Oh, come on. Two left. Two left. Oh, and we already know what the bottom one is, because I already showed you. It's Commander Sphere. So we've got... I'm telling you, this set is trolling me. This 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 lot. This lot is messing with me. Of course it's another Commander Sphere. I'm not... With the amount of soul rings? All right. What set is that? Okay, that's yeah, Commander 14. Cool. Okay, so... That's... Uh, yeah, that's it. I don't think I cleared a $1,000, but my God, that's pricey. This, for paying $20-some dollars to some random thrift person that got it donated and said, let's throw it on eBay, but let's not spread them out or anything. Let's not get crazy. Let's just take a picture of the box from different angles. I mean, you don't have to know TCGs to know not to do that. That's, it's certainly an interesting choice. That's all I'm going to say. That's, <laughs> wow, benefited me. They probably would have gotten three, four, five hundred bucks for this. I'm still pissed about this, but Jeweled Lotus, Mox, Sphere, Cyclonic, the Mana Drain. Oh my god, I've opened boxes worse than this. Holy crap, dude. Okay, well, I'm going to go sell these, and it's going to take me forever to edit this, because a bunch of these have prices, but, uh, wow, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. I am in awe. I mean, this isn't, like, life-changing money, but this is, like, help a brother out money, so let's go. Wow, I wish I would have done this on live stream, dude. I would have been losing it. I would have been losing it. You guys could have looked up the things for me. Dude, if I get another one, I'll... Okay, I promise you, if I get another one that looks this good, where it's like, uh, sleeves plus a block plus this, plus the person has never sold magic cards in their life, and is clearly a thrift store, mm -hmm. I've, I'll tell you right now, don't think you're going to make a million on this. I've gotten burned probably about eight other times. That that other one with the Heart of Kirins, that was the only one that I ever uh, made money on. I got a, well, oh, that's not true. One blind lot I got for four bucks on auction, and I made five on it. But uh, other than that, it's it's not reliable. Um, if you want to go see my other video on like how to find mislabeled stuff on eBay, that's a little better because uh, you know you could pick up some burn willows for like a dollar that are worth like fifty a piece. But uh, yeah, that's that's a more reliable way to make money. But you know, if three people do it in the whole world, then they two of them ruin it for the other one. So whatever. I mean, go get a job. So <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. Oh my gosh, I'll see you next time.